Next, we join a virtual court hearing in St. Joseph County, Michigan. People versus Kobe James Harris. Is that you, sir? Yes, Your Honor. 21-year-old Kobe Harris was charged with assault with intent to cause great bodily harm for allegedly assaulting his girlfriend and threatening to hit her with a metal pipe during an argument at her apartment. That is a felony punishable by up to 10 years imprisonment and a fine of up to $5,000. You're charged as a second habitual offender, making that a maximum 15-year offense. Harris is currently out on bond with a protection order placed against him for the alleged victim's safety. Her name and identity are being withheld for privacy. Do you see Colby in the uh, virtual courtroom here today? And if you're on a phone, if you uh, swipe yes. to the right. And on that day, was there an argument between you and Colby? Uh, yeah. Asking the questions is assistant prosecuting attorney Deborah Davis. And during the course of the argument, what happened? Um, I mean, it wasn't a, even a very long argument. Uh, we just kind of both got really angry. Um, it's just kind of like an accusative argument, just like, I don't know. Did the police come to your apartment that night? Uh, they did, yeah. And why did they come to the apartment? Um, because the police were called, so they came here. Who called the police? Um, I mean, technically me. But following the alleged victim's series of evasive responses, the prosecutor senses something is wrong based on what she's seeing. Your Honor, I have reason to believe that the defendant is in the same apartment as the complaining witness right now, and I'm extremely scared for her safety. The fact that she's looking off to the side and he's moving around, I want some confirmation that she is safe before we continue. Miss where are you right now? What's the address? OK. As Judge Jeffrey Middleton investigates what could be a potentially dangerous situation, an officer can be seen making an impromptu phone call. Mr. Harris, where are you? Three East Lafayette, Your Honor. All right, I want you to walk out to the front of the house. Show me the house number on the house. Um, uh, why? I, I, I don't even think this phone has the charge for that. So I'm at like, I'm at like two percent right now. I'm, I'm hooked up to this wall charger right here. While Harris refuses the judge's request, it becomes clear who the officer was phoning just moments earlier. The police are at Miss apartment right now, knocking on the door. All right. Miss would you go answer the door? Uh, yeah, give me one second. Can you take your phone with you so that I know you're OK? The alleged victim walks to the door and speaks with officers before her phone abruptly shuts off. Then, with all eyes on Harris, he appears nervous before standing up and shutting his phone off. Moments later, Kobe Harris rejoins the conversation. Your Honor. As he's being handcuffed by police. Yes. Your Honor, me and both don't want the oh. no contact. I asked if that be dropped. I'm sorry I lied to you. I knew the cops were outside. Don't want the oh. no contact. Prosecutor Davis's reaction pretty much says it all. Harris was in another room at the alleged victim's residence, just as she suspected. I don't know why I Mr. Like Harris, oh, my advice is don't say anything else. Take the cigarette out of your mouth. The hearing is adjourned. Your bond is canceled. Harris is in clear violation of his bond terms, which included a protection order that prohibited him from coming within 500 feet of the alleged victim. It's the first time I ever had anybody sitting in the next room potentially intimidating the witness and assault rape bodily harm. Officers are directed to take him into custody 
on a bond violation. Two weeks later, the hearing is continued, this time with Harris signing in from county jail. Kobe Harris's original charge of assault with intent to cause great bodily harm was later dropped. But he was found guilty of domestic violence with prior offenses and sentenced to 14 months to five years in prison. He was also found guilty of witness bribery, intimidation, or interfering, and was sentenced to five months to run concurrent with his other sentence. Thanks for being a fan of Court Cam. Subscribe to A&E to never miss a new video and catch full episodes on AETV.com.